Well, what's up guys? This is the first video in a series. Actually, this is this will be the second video in the series of just juicing for beginners. We're going to go over all the basic uh, juice recipes. A lot of you guys responded really well to the juicing 101 video I have over on my channel. If you guys are new here, definitely check out the channel. I highly recommend checking out the original video in the playlist, which is linked down in the description. I'm going to be referencing that throughout this series. For every one pound of produce, you're going to get about 10 ounces of juice. First and foremost, uh, you need to figure out how much juice you're making, and that will determine um, what we weigh out, kind of portion out. If I need to make a batch of 12 juices, 10 to 12 juices, I'm going to weigh out around 14 pounds of produce. Our liquid base today is going to be a sour Granny Smith green apple. Uh, there's a bunch of different sweet liquid base options you could reach for. You could do oranges, um, gala apple, Fiji apple, uh, grapefruit. There's a bunch of fructose, high fructose, sweet tasting liquid bases. Maybe I'll do a specific video dedicated to liquid bases. But today we are going with a green Granny Smith. Uh, this is a basic sweet green juice recipe, so I wanted it to be green themed. Uh, this makes a really good tasting juice. It's really sour, sweet, and it's only three ingredients, so very simple. We're gonna juice it up on a slow masticating juicer. This is a horizontal slow masticating juicer. I prefer a vertical masticating juicer, but I love these uh, for their extended shelf life. This is a very slow process. It's very gentle on the juice compared to a centrifugal. Juice can be kept um, three to five days in your fridge. So if you wanna make a juice cleanse on your masticating juicer, you can definitely do that. Make it all at once. Uh, so you don't have to be taking out your juicer every few hours. So today we're gonna be making a 12 to 16 ounce serving. If you guys wanna know how to specifically weigh out and measure um, to get the exact number of juices, definitely check out the original video. We talk about portioning liquid bases, superfoods, and uh, we talk about lemon too. The liquid base in our juice today is gonna be four Granny Smith apples. This is about a pound of produce. For every pound of produce we use, we're gonna get about 10 ounces of juice. Our kale today is, this is smooth kale or lacinto. I don't know how to say it exactly, but um, this kale compared to curly kale is has lower oxalates. If you struggle with joint pain, um, arthritis, definitely go for this kale. I do pair lemon with all my greens and at the juice shop, uh, this does help break down, the acid helps break down the oxalates in our greens. Another green option I love is parsley. It's often cheaper than kale and it doesn't have too strong of a flavor. Also, it's extremely easy to grow because the cabbage worms don't eat the parsley. The basic recipe here is one pound of your sweet liquid base, which is gonna be any apple, um, citrus, even pineapple is a great uh, liquid base. In the original video, we talk about portioning superfoods. A good safe rule of thumb is one bunch or like beet or six ounces of ginger per four juices or four pounds of produce. So I'm gonna do a quarter, I'm gonna do a half a bunch of kale because I just, I bought it at the grocery store and I have it. Um, obviously if you're juicing at home, you can portion your lemon and superfoods as much as you want. And then I'm using a half a lemon uh, just to help brighten everything up. This also helps uh, keep things from oxidizing. So this is gonna keep our apples from turning brown. It's gonna keep our juice just more alive. Throughout this juicing, you'll see me. Oh gosh, I just broke something. Okay. So I'm gonna go grab the uh, brittle.
I always strain, maybe it's because of the juice shop, but I always strain my juices. I definitely prefer masticating juicers over centrifugal. That's all personal preference, but just a more gentle, quiet process. Yum, that looks good. That is probably 12 ounces of juice. This is a 16 ounce bottle, but there's a lot of foam on there. That wraps it up for this video, guys. There will be a bunch more of these basic juice recipes here shortly. The next juice recipe we are going to do is a strong green. So this is pretty heavy on the fruit, the fructose and uh, sugars. The next one is gonna be a celery based or cucumber based, and it's gonna be extremely low carb. Um, for all those keto people out there or diabetics or you just don't want to be drinking a ton of sugar, the next uh, video in this series is going to be for you guys. Definitely check out the channel if you're into juicing. We've got a ton of videos like this here on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you on the next one. Bye!